So I wanted to make something fun and 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 a little different. So I decided I wanted to do like a um, kind of a series, I suppose, of creating like a, a drugstore, like, but low poly, because I really like low poly things. We haven't done low poly in a long time. So I kind of want to create like a series of us piece by piece creating a, a, a drugstore, like a mini mart, you know, like a gas station store, you know what I mean? So I figured we're going to do that today, because that'll, that'll be fun. So welcome. Hey guys, my name's Kai. Welcome back to That's by Kai. I'm Kai. Um, but yeah, so I guess today I'm just going to kind of do this on camera because I don't, there's not a lot of stuff, there's not a lot of times you get to see me just make something, you know? Um, so I figured that this would be, this would be pretty fun. So let's actually not do that. Let's just do a regular plane for a floor because we don't really need it to be something crazy special. Let's do scale 10 for now. We might make that bigger later. I don't need that right now. Let's close that. No, let's close it. Thank you. Um, all right, cool. Um, yeah, so what do we even start with? I guess we just start with the, the walls, I suppose. Um, do I want to do, let's do a corner like this, right? Yeah, that makes sense. Let's do it the other way around. Um, what side is it? This side? I'm looking at the top. Yeah, there we go. All right, cool. So let's just, let's make this little area so I can see it up here, which will be nice, right? Um... Yeah, this would be this would be nice. Let me actually change the rotation. Yeah, that's better. All right, cool. Um, I guess that, that those walls are, are good for now. So, what do I want to start with? I guess we can just start doing the shelving and getting and getting the basic kind of setup, um, going. So, uh, yeah, it's like I said, it's been a long time since I've actually just made something, uh, on camera before. So it's been a, it's been a while. It's been a good amount of time. Um, that I haven't really done that. We've just been kind of doing tutorials and just doing things, which is also, which is also great, but I feel like I really enjoy, I'm going to turn ambient inclusion on so I can see what I'm doing better. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so it's been a while, like I said, since we've done this and I kind of, I kind of really like just getting in here and, and making something because I know you guys used to love that as well just watching me make something um what was I doing oh yes uh, we're just gonna flip this we're gonna rotate this and this is gonna be like a little shelf right so I don't want this to be completely lined up perfectly because nothing in life is like that especially not little shelves in, in gas station stores you know what I mean guys you know what I mean so let's just grab that move that up about that big I gotta keep in mind the scale of other relative objects, because that's gonna be a big issue. Um, if I have to rescale everything, which would just be really annoying. Um, let's do no negative two, no negative. Hello. Oh, that's because it's way too far. Never mind. I was like, where is it going? Point two. Um, point. What's that? Usually like one shelf. I don't. I feel like it's just not that populated. Like. There's usually not like this many shelves on a gas station shelf, is there? No, I don't think so. I'm gonna do point two instead because I feel like that's just way too much, way too many shelvings. Yeah, point two looks good. So we'll move it up on the y-axis by point two, you say. Um, and then this one will be skinnier actually, and then it will be skinnier this way too. All righty, all right, there we go. Uh, yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good. I want to actually turn this down a little bit because it's getting kind of crazy like yeah you know just turn it off all together forget it um there we go okay cool so that's our first shelf I think that looks good right maybe I, I kind of want this one to be thicker on the bottom because I feel like they're always thicker on the bottom shelves you know sometimes um and now I feel like there's two little shelves to be honest with you so we're just gonna do like that doesn't have to be lined up to some weird perfect extent. All right, cool, cool, cool. Um, yeah, I like that. Let's go ahead and actually add a little bit more to this, though, because I feel like it's not really... So I guess this will be the shelving episode. The first episode will be, like, shelves, I suppose. Which makes sense, because I was really kind of focusing on the shelves uh, when I had the idea of doing this in the first place. So we'll just make a nice little pole on both sides. Yes, thank you. Um, make sure it's lined up. Why did that, why did I just feel like, um, what's his name from Fairly Odd Parents? Professor Crocker. Lined up. Please! That's what I just felt like when I just said lined up. I don't know why. 
But I did. All right. Yeah, I think that's... Is that even on both sides? Kind of got a little tiny bit of an overlap right there on the edge. And this, I'm, I'm, not, I'm purposefully not mirroring this because, like I said, I don't want it to be exactly perfect because it's a shelf, you know? It's not like it's... I don't know what's perfect. Whatever is perfect, but... Yeah, I like that. That looks good. That looks good. Do I want one, like, across the sections like this as well? Hold on, wait a minute. Do I want... I might want that. I might want this to go, acro no, go across like this as well to kind of reinforce the shelves themselves, make it a little bit thicker. Yeah, something like that, maybe? Do I want that? Does that look... I'm going to make it bigger a little bit little bit bigger like that but then obviously scale it in yeah and then it goes to like half of the pole yeah maybe i mean yeah 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 that looks good i don't really know if i like it out the back though let's pull that in pull it in more oh! now it's just too thick this way so let's go ahead and just scrunch that there we go yeah that's cool i like that and then we'll just put one up here as well Pretty much centered. There we go. Yes. Oh, oh the, the other side's not done. What am I thinking? All right, let's pull that in. No, pull it in. Thank you. Pull it in. And we might as well pull this side in. In. There we go. And then we'll just get rid of this one and then I'll just duplicate it. All right, cool, cool, cool. All right, so we have a fairly decent shelf. I think that's all I want to do with the shelf. That's, that's fairly detailed enough. Um, do I want to actually pull this... Oh, like that instead actually um yeah and I want it to come out the back as well just give it a little bit more reinforcement you know what I mean yeah that's good I like that so now let's just grab all these pieces and make sure I don't forget one there we go uh, that's everything yep and then I'll grab the base and then I'll hit control P to set parent to the object now if I grab the base it all moves and I can select all those once again because I shouldn't have unselected them uh, make sure everything's great. Yep, there we go. And then we will go ahead and add a material. So control L, make link to material. Actually, I didn't add a material first. Material, then control L, materials. And then now all of these are the same materials. So we can make gray. Not that dark, though. Um, let's grab that. Let's actually add a light just so I can see what I'm doing real quick. All right. A nice grayish color. Uh, a little bit of metallic in there. A little bit less specular. Uh, a little bit less rose than this. Yeah, how, how shiny is that actually? Eh, not too bad. Not too bad. All right, cool, cool. No, I think that's a little bit too dark still though. Make it a little bit lighter. There we go. All right, cool. Um, let's go ahead and line these up now actually. So let's grab all of this. I can probably just join these, but I don't really like joining things to be honest with you. So we're just going to not do that. Um, now, which way do I want the shelves going? Do I want them like this way or yeah i think i want like this so we'll have like two rows right so we'll have a row here that goes down and then these will be like butted up against each other right like shelves are um and i've run out of space so what we're gonna do is i'm not gonna have that one <laughs> we're only gonna have two because i feel like because I want to put refrigerators behind these shelves here. So I don't want to have, I want to be able to have space where they can like walk around. Like there's actually going to be people here, but you know what I mean? Like if there was people, I want there to be space for them to walk around. Um, and we also have to have space for a counter as well. So we're going to just, just move all of it like this way, just a little bit. There's still room for them to walk there. Um, yeah, that looks good. I like that. I like that a lot. So we're gonna move these up as well. Yes, 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 my friend. All right, cool. So we got some empty shelves. Looks like there's some kind of apocalypse going on. But that's probably gonna be it for today's video. We did the shelves. We're probably gonna do like cans and whatnot, and like stock the shelves in the next one. Um, that's probably what we're gonna do. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Hope you enjoyed today's video. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Peace out for now. But until then, bye bye.